Okay, the statistics was done uh, for harvesting. One acre gives you 180 metric tons per year. One acre? Yes, one acre. One acre gives you 180 metric tons. Yes, and 80 metric tons per acre. Yes, for 20 cows or 200 goats or 200 sheep, it can be able to feed them very well. And I know a Frisian can eat 90 kilos. A Frisian cow can eat? A Frisian cow can eat 90 kilos. That's from my knowledge. So 20 by 90 <laughs> per acre per year. An Asia can eat about 20. Um, um, an Asia can eat how much? Daily. Uh, uh, depends on the feed and also the milk production. Yes. And uh, Averagely. Like for silage, silage uh, 50, uh, 50 kg yes. um, can feed one cow in two days. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Can feed uh, yeah, one cow in two are, days. Dairy farmers, you are noting that. Yeah. The spacing. Oh, spacing. Yes. When you are planting junkao, spacing is given at uh, 80 centimeter by 80. So if you plant more than upper stem cut. 80. Yes, 80. 80. 80. 80 centimeter. Yes. 80 by 80. 80 by 80 centimeters. Um, when do you prepare the land? When do you prepare the land? And how do you prepare the land? Um, you can either decide to plant holes or use the faro system. Ile ya mtaro. Ambo unaeka kwa mtaro kipanga panga all the way. Ama uneza chimba kama vile oda tunachimba holes by holes. Kama vile tunapanda the normal maindi. Spacing equal 80 by 80. Sasa ile upande wa kupanda stem cut, unaitimbia shimo ya around 10 cm. Si deep sana, alafu ukisha eka mbegu, unafunika na around topping ya 5 cm. Usha finika mchanga, unaeka manua juu. Maji jioni by sakum na mbili, mpaka ikisha sprout. Ikisha sprout, sasa unaeza punguza kiasi ya maji. How many how many nodes should you bury? Uh you for every hole mm -hmm. uneka one stem cut ikona two nodes. Two nodes. Yes. And then you leave one. Um no, two two, two one nodes. stem ikona two nodes. Mm -hmm. And so two nodes does it could yield almost forty to sixty branches. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, planting junkao, nilikuwa na samples ni venye gari yetu iliaribika kidogo na ikona mbegu, but nitawa include kwa one group. I'll, I'll make sure I involve all of us in one group category, uh, WhatsApp. I'll be able to share all the information, pictures of junkao. We also have uh, available YouTube for Junkao, Twitter Junkao, Facebook Junkao. So most of the information is there. Begu ndo sijakuja now at least ingesaidia kwa elezea. Sasa wakati wakupanda Junkao, stem yake si kubwa sana. Ikiwa na two nodes, at least wakati unaipanda, the nodes at least should be able to face the upside, uh, the, the direction going up. Ndo at least iki yield, ipande ju. You plant Junkao kama... See here via Tumbukiza, kama imelala flat. Yes. The reason why we are saying flat is because he know dia ju pe na fai pate mchanga na the moisture kutoka kwa ground do pe easy pate na fasi ya zote kusprout ju. So, so you plant it like this. You you bury all the nodes. Yes, you bury all the nodes. Shimo uh, ikuwe ten centimeter, alafu finike na mchanga five centimeter. It's very minimal uh, size of uh, uh, quantity of soil. So you bury it like this. Flat yes. It? Yes, you bury all of it in the ground. Not tumbukiza. No, no. Yeah, I know. Yes, yeah, called the tumbukiza. No. The reason why to nasema, ukipanda hivi ju, hii node ya ju ineza kosa ku sprout sababu itapigwa na jua ikauke. Okay. So tunaprefer yote ikilala ndani ya mchanga, mm -hmm. ndo zote zieze ku sprout. 
na unaweza ipanda kama ile ya mtaro mm-hmm. ambayo unaweka jungkao moja stem cut hapa mm-hmm. after every 80 cm unaweka nyingine mm-hmm. ukielekea all the way yes Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I have, uh, let me say like I'm mm-hmm. It's okay. Okay, karibu sana. I'll start with the uh, propagation. Um propagation there are so many people who have grown junkau around uh, Kenya right now. We have almost 1000 farmers who have been growing junkau for the last uh, Four to four to around six months, junkau. They've bought junkau. They are growing junkau, and it depends also with how you manage your junkau. Um, from our 50 acre land in uh, Nakuru, we normally prefer enough water for the junkau to mature very nicely. And uh, maybe in terms of the length and the width of the junkau stem, it depends on how you manage it. For our stem that we have in Nakuru. They are very uh, large in terms of the size and very mature. Once you are doing propagation, insist on having mature stems. Mature stems are the ones now that are very strong and very at least thick. They give you that look when you have them. Um, um, in terms of manure, uh, Junkau mostly survives on normal manure, either chicken manure, cow manure, goat manure. Any type of manure is very essential and water for you to have that uh, uh, accommodation in terms of high yields and uh, we are looking at the silage you asked about uh, green grass uh, silage and the dry uh, grass uh, silage i'd prefer uh, the reason why we prefer having silage in terms of uh, green matter is because you can achieve that cp of 18.6 and plus for junkau it has the natural uh, sugar for it uh, to assist it in terms of uh, preservation so what that do you, is what, what we do you, don't what use, use it to, what do you use to ferment it uh, nothing just junkau itself the so sugar itself will uh, will uh, process so itself you, so you just fold it and put it in but put it underground put it somewhere safe away from uh, away from uh, any uh, things that will affect it mm. and at least once it's safe it can be able to sustain for almost 2 to 3 years but make sure it's very airtight for you to achieve that uh, silage uh, preservation of 2 to 3 years yes and then there's a question you asked about uh, um time of junkau if i can remember uh in terms of uh, maturity for propagation we are looking at 7 months to 12 months for you to have a mature stem so as to grow junkau 7 months to 12 months so when you're buying uh, junkau stems at least you can insist upate ile around 7 to 12 months at least hiyo itakuwa imemachua vizuri and it's very thick and very healthy for plantation that is why we preserve it when it's green so as to maintain that uh, cp and also no using of molasses so at least ile sugar yake iko from the green matter it will assist in its preservation all the way and also junkau is perennial um how to panda junkau leo and then next year you check your junkau you see it's as if it's not growing the same way you started growing it from the first year um it's perennial you can have harvests almost for the next 20 to 30 years only water and manure so where uh, ukisha panda junkau less management you just wait after two months and after water and manure it's just harvesting wait for two months harvest six times harvest in one year for the next 30 years so so, so let me explain this point let me explain this point eh? let me explain this point sorry let me explain this point baraka leo junkau junkau wahda maana ay mawlay labatan ila sadan sana hadii diga aan ku shubto ee biya waxa goosan ila labatan ila sadan sana biyo ba ku shubi diga ba ku shubi bas what are manure less management so yes 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 na wale wengine kama ngamia ngamia yes 
Yes. Actually, Ngamia Ngamia Junkau is very nice. Uh, nilikuwa nataka nilete nyasi ingine tupiane ni kwa ngamia hapa for a test but junkau is very nice for ngamia so if you are doing uh, camel farming now you don't want to have that uh, process of going to look for uh, grass everywhere you can also have that zero grazing of it na itakuwa vizuri sana hata gel yes yes, yes. can be used as fodder for feeding camel na sungura pia i've said for rabbit but sasa ile feeding uh, nature of uh, the grass it has to be processed kama ni ile into powdery form ama ikuwe nyasi ndogo ndogo the specialized machineries that we have ile ya kukatakata nyasi kwa at least ile anaweza kula kama rabbit yes okay. yes <coughs> sorry that is why i was saying uh, wakati you are growing it kama haija yield for one year unajua after one year is when the roots after one year after one year after one year is when the roots develop deeper zinaendaga almost 2 to 2.5 to 2 meters you can imagine that height of a root system 2.5 meters kwa ground sasa wakati wa flooding the junka will still be there because the root system are holding from the ground and the junka itself so floods will not affect it uh, so much and in fact we are promoting junkau for the certification and also as a solution to flooding flooding will be solved by junkau for river bank yes for river bank uh, from the videos from the ones that we have in our youtube page uh, i'll make sure i take them through in china they're using it as a, a very nice uh, solution for oh. river bank uh, holding the sand around the river bank and also soil control for soil erosion nikara wiji dad ka hamu kadi baya ko hoda hai dal ka kamadi baya porke inta korado ka qado dad ko ka bahada wo so be ba hakan lo istamala wobi ka qarki qarka wobi hada dib kana hasto ha way wobi ko ka so jabiya qarki somo ba lo istamala in lu hojiyo gebi ga wobi ma fahamte iyo melaha sahra ha oo wax ka baxayn in ma arkay yidana Uh, Junkau is almost uh, 30 to 40 years. It was done a research in China. Actually, it has been done uh, in terms of uh, feeding livestock in China and even right now they are using it to feed their livestock. That's why they have no challenges of food availability. Their milk is available and uh, also they are able to supply in terms of powder milk there is also the advantage of cheese so when you invest in junkau you are looking at investing in uh, in exportation that is for beef for cheese for powder milk because most of us only look at the advantage of just uh, livestock as cattle and milk but there are so many other advantages in terms of even exportation there is good market out there even the um there are countries that need silage from us that's why we are actually promoting junkau for farmers whereby if you plant enough junkau we'll be able to buy that junkau from your side and we'll be able to pay you so it's also an investment plan for our farmers whereby if you're not feeding your livestock you can also have the number of other acres planting junkau whereby you still invest in uh, in that mode Also Junkau um, has been in the market for more than even 50 years. Uh actually 40 years. The scientist who invented Junkau is still alive and uh, is able to tell the whole story. It's a team of scientists who came and uh discovered the hybrid of Junkau. The meaning of uh, why we say hybrids because it has been put in a position whereby it has survived in Changayoyote 
in order to survive any type of weather and also the crude protein is at least enough high. It's a mixture of 38 varieties of grasses all brought together to give June cow. Animal protein. Yeah, an animal protein. Sorry? Three species of grasses brought all together to give one type of June cow. Yes. Yes. We have three questions. Yes. Uh, how many species? Mm -hmm. Yes. <coughs> how many? Splits. Stem cuts. Around 7,000. 7,000 stem cuts for one acre. 7,000. Yes. 7,000 stem cuts for one acre. Any estimate cost mm -hmm. of production for one acre? Mm -hmm. If you have been Kenya, yes, you have been Garissa, yes, and you know our system, yes, yes, can you estimate us for one acre? Yes, actually, how much do we need? Uh, in terms of management of one acre, in your acre is different from what? Acre, one acre of land, you plant 7,000 stem cuts of Junkau. Um, it depends uh, how how you categorize your acre. Kama eco square, eco which. That's what we are asking now. Mm -hmm. You know, this 7,000 we're saying mm -hmm. may not make sense to the acreage I have. Mm -hmm. Our acre here goes for 40. That is why we say spacing spacing is 80 by 80. So if you have 7,000 stems, you plant them with a separate uh, spacing of 80 by 80, you'll be able to at least have that coverage in that one acre of land. <coughs> 80 centimeter, it's uh, not so very big, almost one meter. And the reason why they say 80 by 80 is because Junkao, that's why they call it the magic grass, to this year might have 40 branches. Next year, some more branches might come from the sideways. So it keeps on yielding more branches. That's why uh, for one, junk, they call it the magic grass. And then during dry seasons, Junkau normally um, manages the water by itself. It sheds the, the, the leaves so as to maintain the stem. When water or when rainfall comes, more branches start splitting. That's why they call it the magic grass. So you are talking about 7,000 times 20 shillings. Yes, 7,000 times 20 shillings, but I have a good offer. Yes. I'm giving a good offer to farmers who want to plant more than two acres mm -hmm. at uh, 10 bob per stem cut if you're buying more than 15,000 stem cuts. So how can acre or how can you do it? How all the effort, all the effort, and Kunwa. Aburk. Yes. One forty. Yes. So you can team up. You can team up as a group. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you are five and you each of you has maybe a quarter an acre, mm -hmm. you team up together. Mm -hmm. You buy at least uh, the offer. Then you distribute against uh, each other. Mm -hmm. At least at ten bob, mm -hmm. everyone can be able to have Junkau stem cuts. Okay. Yes. Yes. So. Can you bulk yourself? Yeah, you can. I can me bulking no, myself. The farm. Yes, you can bulk yourself and then now buy. And then we'll be able to deliver. Now that you are listing all Yes. And even one of the farmers, acre is around 1800 stem cuts. 1800. Yes. That will be a cost of. Huh? That will be 140 divided by farm, yeah? Everyone uh, 140 divided by 4,000? 1,800. Uh, 140, divide, 140 divided by 4? <coughs> At 5,000. We can go that way. Hassan, you can have a car. 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 It depends on the market price. Because market price normally is uh, one of the biggest challenges we are facing. But we'll buy from you at the What's normal the market. Price? Current price right now we are selling at uh, silage, that is uh, silage at 20 bob per kg. 20 bob per kg. In the market price. Silage is a silage. Um, kulingana, unajua, 
nyasi ikatwe ama ikiwa kwa silage is almost the same silage you mean ikiwa isha kwa bed mostly for minta nwa kwako kama ni may harvest to peke yake silaging i'll come and do it on the other side please can you thank you So I have seen 25 kg. So what is the kg for a bale? 20 kg or 25 or 50 kg? Ours we have uh, bales from 50, 60 and 70 kg. That is how we bale uh, our 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 junkau grass. Yes. For easy of uh, transportation. But that's one meeting, eh? Yes. But that's one meeting, eh? Afa. That's one meeting. ndio <laughs> 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 So zikienda kule chini they normally bring all the minerals up. So when you are growing any other crop apart from junkau maybe ushatoa junkau it will yield very nicely. So kama uko na land yako ulikuwa umetumia maybe fertilizer sana ile rotuba ya juu ikaribika plant junkau kwa hiyo land. Give it one year. Maybe after you do the transplant you can be able to grow back any type of crop. Mhm sasa unaona ile roots ikikuwa inavuta ile minerals from the the the, the below ground kuna ile itabakia obviously because manure lazima utaweka kwa junkau na maji So bado itakuwa bado ina supplement ile manyua bado inashuka chini ina maintain rotuba na maji bado itakuwa inasaidia. So it's like a two way traffic. Junkau sasa. Mchanga ama nutrients. Nutrients sasa unajua na depend kama your soil is fertile enough na rotuba iko juu haitaenda sana inaendaga sana wakati rotuba ya juu haiko available na nyelewa <laughs> yes no we don't use fertilizer we normally use the normal organic manure yes